What you saw there in that video was two police officers trying to get a man to give his name and his address. Because in the world of a police officer, they can only act on you if you contract with them. Because it's the world of contracts. Remember, the statutory instrument is a legally written, created, written docu uh, contract. So they're contracts. He needs you to give your name and your address because he needs to act on your person, not the man or the woman. Darren, who would admit it as well, we stood up there, didn't actually know what he was doing at that time. And he's laughing his head off because he didn't. But the point is, this is natural. It's inherent. It's already in you. You've just been conditioned to not know it. That's all that's happened. When Darren wouldn't conform, what did the lady officer try and do? She tried to spit, pick a spoil with him over any issue she possibly could find to try and enforce a statute. Now that is not a policeman or woman. That is not upholding the law of this land, the real law of this land. Okay, that is a corporate enforcement policy agent. So you now understand there is a big difference between the two, a massive difference. And they are, I promise you, you can check this out yourself, you can go and do all this stuff, and if you know it's at the top, it says company search results. This is not saying I've just made up on, I couldn't even if I tried. So what is legal lease? It's a language that can be, a language can be created by any society. Corporation can be such a society. Legalese is such a language. In English, it is English, but some words have very, very different meanings. Example, legalese is a language of the law society. Check it out for yourselves. One of the things I was going to say before I come on and I forgot is to say to you, do not take a word I'm saying as being the truth. Don't. Go and look at this stuff yourself because that's the only way that you will suddenly realise what's going on. The truth is only the truth when you know, when you realise it. I could tell you all afternoon long, but until you realise it, it's meaningless. It's down to you to realise this. The examples. Must is synonymous with the word may. When as someone says to you from a corporation, you must, they're actually giving you a choice because they can't force you. They're not allowed to because it's not law. It's only policy. Summons is synonymous with invitation. When you get a summons from a court of supposedly law, you actually are being invited to a corporate place of business to discuss how much money you're going to give that corporate place of business. And you won't get an eight for it either. <laughs> understand is synonymous with stand under. If I say to you, do you understand, and you say yes, that means you stand under me, which means you've given me authority over you. It's as simple as that. It's so simple. But this is a language you don't know. You don't know you've been spoken to by this language. Ministry of Justice, also traded as every magistrate's court in this land. The High Court of Judicia. Magist all of them, every single one, is a corporation running for profit. Know who you are. If you go to court, which I've uh, had a few um, accountants with, to say the least, <laughs> it's a corporate place of business. And they will immediately ask you for your name. Okay? Your name. They will even presume to know who you are. And they will ask you as such. They would say to me, Mr. Harris, Mr. is the title of something with legal personality. Status. I was named by my parents, but I wasn't called Mr. John Harris. Well, I don't think so. If I reply yes, guess what I've agreed to represent? A man cannot be acted upon by statutes, nor can a woman, a human being, a living soul. These only apply to the fictional entity, which is the legal personality, i.e., Mr. John Harris in full caps, 
or Mr. J. Harris. Every title in this land is a fiction. If you're Lord whatever, it's a fiction. Every title is a fiction. Because it doesn't apply to a human being. It's the legal status. Remember the word status. It comes into everything. I like the, do you like the pictures? Photocopies as well. Right. It's the easiest way of doing it because it, I wanted a cardboard cutout so I can say, look, this is the fiction and this is the living soul because it's hard for you to grasp that there is, you're, you're two, you're two people. You just don't know you are. That's really, really hard to, sorry, really, really hard to um, grasp. Natural law and common law applies to me. Okay? Inherent law. You don't need him to be told it. You know what's right or wrong. Do you not? You know, don't you? It's inherent. It's just there. Commercial policy, civil policy and political policy applies to the fiction. But they need that to represent it. Because that doesn't exist. In the real world, if you, if you want to... If you, yeah, there's an easy way of breaking this down. If you look at a company, a company exists because a piece of paper says it's a company. But it's not real. Is it? It's not in the real world. It's just a piece of paper that says this is a company. Common law, the statute, pot, rules and policy. I like this. The only basic principles that any people of any nation need to adhere to are those of natural law, which are mirrored in common law. Never harm or cause loss. It covers every eventuality. There is nothing it doesn't cover. Nothing. Common law applies to a man or a woman, a living soul. Statute rules apply to the person. Only when the man or woman consents to represent the person. Consent can be given in inaction or action. And I'll explain that in a little bit. Within statute rules, you will, you will just receive a summary judgment. That's what you get in the courts of law. Or supposedly, but it's called summary judgment. And what summary judgment is, it doesn't matter if whatever court you go into, as long as that court's going to make money from someone, because that's all it's about. And there's a reason they want to extract that revenue from you. There is a, such a reason. You break the rules of the contract and you lose. It's as simple as that. You are a man or a woman, you have a person. My name is John Harris, or John, or my wife calls me lots of other names, but there you go. Um, I shan't discuss them. I exist naturally. Okay? I'm here. I'm real. I was created by divine, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to get into any of this sort of... Um, I, I, I don't know what it is, so I just say divine. It's the easiest way. But I was created. I'm subject to common law jurisdiction. Do, you know, and do, you want, do we know what jurisdiction means? Well, jurisdiction basically means juris is of law, and diction means the use of words in any way you want to use them, basically. I must never harm another or cause another loss, any form of loss. I'm free and unlimited ability to contract and settle debt in private and under commercial law. I can basically do as I please as long as I abide by these principles. My person, which attached to me, is Mr. J. Harris, who's a fictional entity created by the government. Subject to civil policy jurisdiction, must fulfil all duties given to and governed by corporate policy, tax, etc., under statute. Does business in the public sector, or I don't. So what is a person? Okay. They're inviting a person created by the United Kingdom Corporation. They created something when you were born. You just didn't know because you couldn't know. Your parents didn't know and their parents before them didn't know. Because it's been hidden from you. Because it's too simple. That's the point. Our world is so bloody complicated. But it's not complicated. Everything complicated has a very, very simple foundation. Everything. I'm just simple. I just look at things simply. Your person was created when your birth was registered and evidenced by your birth certificate. Man created government, which in turn created persons. 
Your person is not you. It is a legal fiction which you are falsely identifying with because you've been deceived. Massively. You don't get to say what its rights and duties are. The United Kingdom Corporation does. Like I said, you've been misled and you've been deceived. Let's define the word person. Includes natural person, firm co-partnership, association, limited, limited, limited liability company or corporation, legal personality. Well, I've got, I've got a problem with this. First off, was the first one we had was, was how can you define person with exactly the same word because you're failing to define anything? And this is in Black's Law Dictionary, eight. If you look at person in Black's Law Dictionary 3, you'll see it's a fiction. It actually says it, it's a fiction. Because it's not real. It's not real. 